Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, wow, 250 subs in less than two weeks is absolutely insane. I honestly don't know what to say. I thought at this point we'd be teetering around maybe 10 subs at the most. That being said, I just wanted to thank you all for all the support you've been giving the channel. It's absolutely insane that people are tuning in to watch me make a video game or just list things that I do or don't like about a bunch of random video games. I never thought in a million years that I'd actually get to make my own video games and form a community of people who watch the game progress and make contributions to it. Much less have 250 people who come back to check on the game on a weekly basis. Now I know 250 people doesn't sound like much in the grand scheme of things, but picture this. Think back for a second to elementary school when you would have to stand in front of the whole class to give a speech on something you didn't care about. It was scary and it was the worst, right? You were thinking, oh my god, are they going to like it? Will the teacher think it's any good? Will I pee my pants in front of the class again like last time? That's a story for another time. So that's what, 30 people maybe? And you're presenting something that doesn't really matter to you. Now imagine you're talking to the entire school, a gymnasium full of people, 250 to be exact. And now you're talking about something you actually care about, something you poured your heart and soul into, something that you love that you want everyone else to love too. Yeah, it's scary to think about, but I'm gonna up the ante a bit more. So now it turns out that those 250 people loved your idea and they want you to present it to them on a weekly basis so they can stay updated on your progress. And what's even crazier, every week 120 more people join in to listen. So yeah, 250 subscribers with an average of 120 more every week is absolutely insane to me. But that being said, I'm extremely grateful. It's a weird feeling when you create something that you really love, but you aren't sure if other people are going to like it. And it turns out, they do like it. And, you know, it makes you feel like your dreams and aspirations aren't just, for lack of better terms, pipe dreams. Like, hey, maybe there's something to this. Maybe I can make a career out of something that I actually love. Who knows? So, side note, anybody out there who wants to start a YouTube channel, I say go for it. Whether it's a channel about gaming, or cooking, or just hanging out with friends, whatever you think you'll enjoy, just give it a go. You never know where it'll take you until you try, right? Here's a dumb story for you. It's uh, something I found to be inspiring that stuck with me for quite some time. I think it was like a cereal commercial and there was this really good quote tacked onto the end. And yes, I get my pieces of sage wisdom from cereal commercials. Anyways, there was this quote at the end of the commercial that was something along the lines of, it only takes a single decision to turn one day into day one. A single choice to actually start doing the thing you want to do. One choice is all it takes to start you on that path. Now, for those of you who've already started your YouTube channel, don't feel left out. I have plenty of sage advice to go around, don't you worry about that. Quick disclaimer, I have no idea what I'm talking about, so take every piece of advice I give with a huge grain of salt. So, for those of you who have started a YouTube channel and aren't having a lot of success, I have something I want to share with you as well. So, I was listening to Bill Burr's podcast a few nights ago on my way home from work, and he said something I thought was really deep and could translate easily to someone starting off their YouTube career. So, he was talking about becoming a stand-up comedian, but I think the knowledge is pretty transferable. So, basically what he said was, when you start your YouTube career, nobody knows you. You don't have a reputation, you haven't built up a rapport with any of the people you're talking to, and you don't have a following. So, if you think about it like a sport, every video you make when you first start out is just like an away game. The audience doesn't know you from a hole in the ground, and there's drafting scouts sitting in the audience to see if you've got what it takes to make it. Basically, the YouTube algorithm. That being said, you haven't won over any of the audience members yet. It's your job to entertain them enough to earn their respect so that they want to come back and see more of you. And even if your first game or video goes really well and they really enjoyed themselves, they might not be ready to commit yet. Right, because what if you come out of the gate strong, but then you play like shit the next six games? So those people in the audience who saw your first game may come back to watch the second, but they aren't sure if you're going to be their pick for the season yet. Basically, whether or not they're going to subscribe. But after a few games or videos, they see that you're bringing your A game and crushing it. That's when a lot of them will say, Hey, I like what this guy's doing out there, and I'm going to watch him play next week and every week after that. There, you've got a subscriber. Now, you continue to impress, and that's when you build a following. Suddenly, not as many games feel like an away game. You've got supporters, and they make you feel like you're doing something right. Anyways, my point is, before you know it, as long as you're impressing people and putting in the effort, you're going to get noticed. And then you get to start making videos like you're playing a home game. You know your audience, you know what they like, and you know just how to showboat. Sorry, I know that was a long analogy, but my point is, don't stop trying. People will know if you're making good quality stuff, and eventually word will get around. Especially if the YouTube algorithm, or the scouts in my example, pick up on it. 
So just keep pushing out quality stuff. And one final piece of advice, if you're working or in school, don't stretch yourself too thin. The last thing you want to do is put out a bunch of shitty videos every week when you could put out one or two good videos. Not to say all the videos I put out are good, I know most of them are pretty bad, but I'm getting better. <laughs> that being said, I have a little announcement to make. As most of you know, I'm working and doing a full-time master's degree right now, so I'm a little bit pressed for time. So after some thought, I've decided to play around with my schedule a bit. The Monday Night Shorts and the Saturday Night Watch videos will continue to be released as scheduled, but I'm going to begin releasing the top 5 videos every other Wednesday. Now, I'm choosing to do this because a lot more work has to go into those videos than pretty much any other video on the channel. For those ones, I have to do research, I have to look up game footage, or I have to dust off old consoles that I haven't touched in ages to capture some of the niche or lesser known scenes from a lot of games that I play. But, there is a trade-off. I'm not going to start anytime soon, but I'm thinking maybe the end of August, also the end of this semester, um, I'll be starting my first playthrough on the channel. Now, everybody knows that playing games is way more fun with friends. I mean, look at my Dry Breads playthroughs. It's him and his two best friends, Gooset and What a Geek, all playing through games at the same time, and it's hilarious. They have this awesome rapport and back and forth with each other that makes the playthroughs feel like you're just hanging out with your buddies and having a good time. The link to all three of their channels will be in the description below. Anyways, on this channel, I'd like to do something similar. So I've got a couple of friends who are very charismatic that say they would love to start doing playthroughs with me on the channel. Now these are going to be a little bit different than your average playthrough. So how we're going to set these up is we're going to be playing games that aren't necessarily multiplayer. Probably uh, mostly Bethesda games and Pokemon games I would imagine. But we're all going to start and be playing through them at the same time and each of us will have our own separate gameplay viewport on screen so you can see what point in the game each player is at at any given time. Uh, using this format we can do cool things like challenges, speed runs, races with each other and lots of other cool stuff. We can also do a playthrough of the game I'm making right here on the channel. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun and I can't wait to start. Anyways, that's about all I have for you today. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much again for all the support you've been giving me and I can't believe we hit 250 so soon. My next goal for the channel is 500 subscribers, um, but as long as things keep going the way they are I don't think it's going to be too long before then. I guess after that next milestone will be the big 1000. So all that being said, thank you so much to everyone watching out there and I hope you tune in for the next video. Bye guys.